Everybody, the Hero C Halloween update has just released. So let's take a look at everything that was added. Drop a like and subscribe if you enjoy. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so when you load in, you will see right by civilian spawn over here, we have a little kind of Halloween patch. So it looks like they've started to use this place for events quite a bit here. There is normally a building here. However, of course, when we had the 1 billion visits update, this was all completely kind of removed. The building was removed and they kind of added the 1 billion visits thing here then the building came back now the building's removed and the halloween stuff has been added here so let's take a look at what we've got so we've got some little halloween decorations around here if you get out your candy bucket you can see different colors of candy down here and we can run up here and we can kind of go inside and see some interesting things here so we've got a really nice looking uh, little hut over here which if we go to the shop as you can see we have another halloween exclusive limited edition vehicle look at that this looks absolutely incredible i really really like the halloween exclusive vehicle we've also got all the different potions which we had in previous years so everybody really really liked the potions that they added as we can see we get special things like stamina potions health potions jump potions invisible potions which is kind of all really really good to escape the police we also have lanterns which can do some pretty cool things but of course the vehicle is the main thing here that people really really like and it does look absolutely awesome i will be honest so let's have a look at how we can actually get candy. We can see we've got a PRC game tester in whatever vehicle you would class this as. I've never seen this in the game before. Uh, what even is this? Let's hop in this vehicle real quick. This looks absolutely insane. Look at this. It's classic. It's really, really awesome. I don't know if this is in the shop or something. I haven't seen or tested it out just yet uh, it looks like he's uh he's jumped out and well it looks like this vehicle is a classic car a new addition to the classic car game pass we'll go check out the car spawner in just a moment and see what vehicles we have but i guess we can review this one while we're here and to be honest he's brought me over to the housing suburbs which is exactly what i wanted so yeah we'll have a little further look at this car in just a moment but for now let's take a look at how the halloween works so if you grab your candy thing over here you can come up to a house i think multiple people can do it you can ring the doorbell here and as you can see you will get a treat and you'll get a random selected color of candy now this is completely randomly generated for example we can come over to this house and we got a yellow candy you might come over to this house and you might get a trick and you won't get anything and they'll just like tell you to go away it really really depends it's completely randomized on what you will get but let's just go and try and collect one orange candy so i don't know what the rarest candy in the game is there we go we got an orange candy so we got one of each candy from the first three houses we went to so i will be doing live streams and stuff uh, very very soon where we will do some uh, candy collection collecting live and we'll unlock all of the vehicles and stuff which will be really really awesome so stay tuned for that subscribe turn on notifications but let's reset now and head over and take a look at what we have in the civilian car spawner menu because it looks like there's been a few vehicles added so if we have a look at the classic vehicles here and we have a look around all these vehicles we can see there is no other special vehicles here except from well this one <laughs> yes if we look at this we have the falcon coupe hot rod 19 34 and wow is this cool we've also got officer john in the server right now but look how cool this vehicle looks this is absolutely insane i really really like how the engine is completely on show here i think it's really really cool that they've added details like that i mean there's no other vehicle inside of the game that has an engine like that which is really really cool and of course we do have the other classic vehicle oh my gosh do the classic vehicle that you can purchase from over here but i haven't been able to unlock that yet as i said i would do that on a live stream very very soon but yeah it looks really 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 awesome I believe you can only get this with the classic cars game pass and I'm not sure if this will be available forever the tester that I was with did say it was only for the Halloween period but I'm not exactly sure if that's true it might be forever and uh, we have officer John here uh, with his lovely Halloween costume on there look at that very very scary I'll be honest good Halloween outfit you've got there officer John but yeah other than that it doesn't really look like there's anything else in this update it just looks really really cool and well I've got to be honest the developers you did a great job and well of course the next thing we have to do is the murder mystery so if we join on to the police team somewhere over here you should be able to do the murder mystery so if we walk 
out the detective series over here, we can see we have the full murder mystery series here. So uh, there was a murder mystery at the underground mine yesterday, I didn't get to see it. Can you go investigate? Yes, we can go and investigate this. So it says start your investigation in the underground mines by Hard Rock Park, that's where we found his body. So what we need to do is spawn in a vehicle, let's just get, I don't know, this one should be good for Hard Rock Park, probably should have got the Ford Bronco, but it doesn't really matter. Now we can see next task is locate the body. And as you can see, we have loads of different tasks here we need to do to complete the murder mystery task. Now I'm going to make a complete separate video on start to finish how to complete the murder mystery tasks. So it should be really easy for you guys to subscribe. Stay tuned for that video. This is just my little update video for now. But let's just go and check out what we do have going on up here. It should be pretty cool. So let's park up over here, run inside. As you can see, this is all stuff that is uh, placed down in the game. We can inspect the uh, the footprints over here and if we if we run over there should be some more stuff inside here we can also speak to this guy over here and I believe we can also kind of run down here and there will be a lot of uh, crime scene stuff going on down here but I think you probably have to do it in order yeah we can see some evidence markers stuff like this this is what we saw from the trailer and then we have this very very mysterious door over here so we've got a little bit of a code that we have to kind of crack there now without going any further into this you guys are going to have to wait for my full guide video when i talk about how to complete this from start to finish it will be out in a matter it will be out very very soon probably just a few hours from the time that you're watching this video so drop a like subscribe make sure you have notifications on and i will make a video on that very very shortly and as well as that as you can see another little side feature to this is that there is a red lake now, so or river I suppose this is. Every single water source in the game has now been painted red. The map really hasn't loaded in, but I mean, even the waterfall that for some reason is traveling upwards, not really sure why that's happening. For some reason, not really sure why that's happening. But as you can see, all of the water sources, but as you can see, all of the water sources are red. The river, the lake, and then even the little pond over here. As you go, well, you can not load in at all, but you can see a little bit of a red mist there. The pond over there is also red. And of course, we have the other little park over there. The city park isn't though, and that's because that is used for one of the quests for the murder mystery thing which i will make a separate video on as i said later on so you'll find out more information about that very very soon indeed thank you so much for watching drop a like subscribe turn on notifications and hopefully i'll see you in my next video bye